Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out this nail drill I got from Amazon. It was around $35, which I think is a really great price for a nail drill. And after unboxing it, I am actually going to be testing it out by using it to remove my gel polish I have on one hand. And then on my other hand, I actually have builder gel. So I will be trying that out as well. And specifically, it says that it's a portable nail drill, which I agree. I think it would be pretty easy to pack up and bring somewhere. And as you can also see on the box, it goes up to 35,000 RPMs. Here on the box, you can see all the different colors it comes in. I chose mine to be pink and gold. Now I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and show you everything that it comes with. I have actually already unboxed it and used it just to get a little bit of practice before the video. So this is not how it exactly came, but um, I will be showing you everything that it comes with. I just put everything back in the box um, just so it can kind of feel like an unboxing video. This first item I'm pulling out of the box here is just a little purple stand so that you can set the nail drill on top of it and it won't roll away or anything. Next we have the charging cord and one thing I really really like about this e-file is that you do not have to have it plugged in while you're using it. It's a chargeable e-file, so I love that so much. It also comes with drill bits and sanding bands. It comes with seven drill bits. Actually, there is one that was in a different container, so I will show you that here in a little bit. And then it comes with um, the three different types of sanding bands. They all have different grits, but there's two of each of them so you get six and like i said earlier i did use this nail drill a little bit before filming this video so that is why some of the sanding bands looks a little used and here's that other drill bit i was talking about i believe this is a ceramic bit i'm still new to all the nail drill stuff and everything um, I did have one before this one, but it was not good at all. So I've only used one a few times, so I'm definitely a beginner. This little drill bit organizer did not come with the e-file, but I thought I would include it because I think it's just really helpful to have one, especially if you use your e-file a lot. It's just way easier to get out your drill bits. So I'm just organizing them here. And finally, I'm going to be showing you the nail drill. It definitely feels a great quality and here at the top you can see where the drill bits would go. I will show you how everything works a little bit later on in the video. This is just kind of a brief overview. I really like the cord and how it's stretchy and can extend. Um, that way you don't have to worry about running out of cord. So you would just plug that part into this part. Like I said, I got pink and rose gold. It's really pretty. I really like the look of it. And I actually didn't take off this film that was over the screen just because I know how satisfying it is and I wanted to save it for the video. Definitely one of my favorite parts about unboxing things like this. So here you can see a button for changing between forward and reverse. Here on this side we have the plug-in port you would plug the nail drill into and then the little adjuster to change the RPM number. And then on the other side there's just the plug-in port for when you need to charge it. 
And the very last thing in the box is the instruction manual. So I'm just going to show this really quickly and you can pause it if you want to read it. So now that I'm ready to use it, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. Like I said, it's chargeable, so I don't need to keep it plugged in when I'm using it. I do really like how there's a little light on the brick. So when it's red, it means it's not charged up all the way. And then when it turns green, you know that it is charged up all the way. So now that it's charged for a little bit, I'm just going to plug the hand piece in. And in order to get this little metal piece out of there, all you have to do is to twist the handle right here and then it'll come loose and be really easy to remove. And then you can just replace it with whichever drill bit you want. And then you'll want to make sure to lock it back up. So just twist the other way and you should hear a click. Since I did choose the barrel bit, I'm just going to put on a sanding band as well. And I did have a little trouble removing the sanding band from it, but the trick is just not to squeeze it very hard because if you squeeze it hard, it will not come off. You just have to lightly pull it off and it'll come off. So I was just making it way harder on myself than it needed to be. Once you twist this little notch here, it'll turn on and you'll be able to adjust your RPMs. So I'm just going all the way up to 35 just because that's the maximum. And then back down and then once you pass one, it'll just turn off. To adjust it going forwards or backwards, all you have to do is just press this little button here in the middle. Now it's finally time to test it out. So first I'm just going to test it out on my regular gel nails. And I started out using this ceramic bit, but it actually didn't do much. I will show you what it did do here in a little bit. But I ended up switching over to a coarse sanding band. I usually stayed around 12 and 13,000 RPMs just because I am still a beginner and I didn't want to go too fast. And I also switched between going forwards and reverse. Here's what that drill bit did to my nail. It definitely roughened it up a little bit, but it would have taken forever to actually remove the gel polish. I don't even know if I would have been able to remove it with that drill bit. So now I switched to the sanding band and that worked a lot better. It still took a little while, but way faster than the other drill bit. And I know there's some other types of drill bits out there that'll remove it like really quickly, but those are more likely to like cut your skin and stuff. So as a beginner, I didn't want to use one of those. So it's better just to use something that is a little bit safer, even though it might take longer. I did accidentally touch my skin a little bit, but it didn't hurt too bad. Um, you definitely want to avoid it because it can irritate your skin and cuticles and stuff. But I didn't cut myself or anything. With the sanding band, if it's just a light tap onto your skin for like a second, it really doesn't hurt at all. A couple things I learned watching other tutorials is make sure to work fairly quickly and don't stay in one spot at once because it'll build up heat and it'll burn. It'll really hurt, um, so definitely you don't want to do that. So just make sure to move around your nail fairly quickly. And then another thing is you don't have to push down hard at all. You just can let that e-file do the work for you. If you push down, it might end up hurting your nail and it's not necessary to do that anyways. Here is how the gel polish is looking. At this point, I would just use a hand file to file the rest off and then soak it off in acetone to remove the rest. The next way I'm going to test this nail drill out is using it to remove some builder gel I have on these nails. 
So I'm basically just doing the same exact thing I did for the other nail. I know it'll probably take a little bit longer though because it is builder gel. When you're using an e-file to remove gel polish, you definitely want to make sure to leave a thin layer on your nail and then just hand file it off or soak it off because once you get down to your natural nail, you'll have a chance of damaging it. So here is how my nail looked after filing it and then I'm just going to show how I remove the rest of it. I'm taking a 180 grit hand file and just filing the rest of the gel polish color off. And here's how it looks when I was done filing. Now I'm just taking some 100% acetone and just putting that onto a cotton ball. And then I'm taking my little nail clip and placing the cotton ball onto my nail and then clipping it on. I think for me it took around 15 minutes to completely soak off. The more you file, the less time it takes to soak off. And then I'm just going to remove that clip and cotton ball and I'm scraping the gel polish off. It should be really easy to scrape off. If you're having trouble scraping it off, then you'll want to soak it more. And then I'm just going to buff my nail a little bit. And finally, I'm going to be using cuticle oil for the very last step because all that filing and acetone just dried out my cuticle and nail. So that'll help nourish it and just make my nail stronger. I would definitely make a video in the future about how to remove gel polish so I can explain it more in detail, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're trying to decide if you should buy this e-file or not, I would definitely recommend it. I haven't had it for too long so I don't know how long it's going to last but it definitely works really well. Especially for the price, I will have the link to this e-file in the description box below just in case you want to check it out. Make sure to like and subscribe, I post a YouTube video every single week plus one or two YouTube shorts a week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!